Hello, I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon. And this week I'm going to show you how to use InDesign to mass produce uh, multiple designs at one time. And so what I mean by that is every now and then you'll have a project where you'll need to take a list of people and replicate the same job over and over again just with different names or different pieces of the puzzle. And so instead of making everything by hand over and over again, what you can use is InDesign and a uh, little add, well it's not an add-on, it's included in InDesign, but a little uh, menu called Data Merge and you can create multiple design items in a matter of minutes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what that means. Now let's say that you have a list of people. Let's say you have an event and let's say you had 2,000 people come to this event um, and you needed to make name badges for all those people so that everybody could know who is who is who and all that and where they're from. That's a massive undertaking if you're going to do it by hand but in InDesign you could do it in just a few minutes and have it ready for print and I'll show you how. So I've, I've got a smaller scale here, but this would work with 2,000 people, just the same. We have uh, an Excel spreadsheet with uh, a column, four columns. It could be as many columns as you want, really, as much as you could fit on the badge or the document that you're creating. So you have name, store, city, and state. And so I have their names have the store name, the city, and the state. And this is an Excel workbook. And what you need to do is, no matter how large this is, you need to convert it to a different file format. And it's called Tab Delimited. And so, you just go File, Save As. you got to make sure that the uh, columns are named as well. So, you, you know, like no, uh, Name, Store, city and state. You want to make sure that those are there. And so what I'll do is I'll change this to the name of names and then I'll go down here to file format and around halfway down is tab delimited which is a .txt file. And sometimes, uh, by default, it'll have multiple sheets here. Make sure you get rid of the last two, because you just need that one. Otherwise, it's going to give you an error message, and it could screw things up. So just make sure that it only have, you only have one sheet tab here. And just go ahead and click Save as tab delimited text. Now, you don't need this anymore. And so... I've pre-created some simple graphics. Just It's nothing special, but it's just something to demonstrate what you can do. And so from here, I'm going to place my initial graphics. And so here's the background. And it's set up to be uh, four and a quarter by three inches. And just remember to give it a little room for cutting. But just for example's sake, I'm just placing it. And so you want to place it sort of in the top left quadrant of your document. And depending on how you lay this up and the sizes that you need, it could be, I've laid this out to be landscape because it fits four to a page nicely. And so you've got you've got this first piece here, and then I'm going to go ahead and place the title as well. Oops, I had that selected. That's why that did that. Make sure that if you place another one, another uh, image or document, that that's not placed. And so here's the title of the event. We'll place that there. And let's just pretend this is your name badge. That's what you're going to have. And so from here, 
what you're going to do is you're going to create text fields using your type tool. I'm just going to draw out four quick it's just you can, you can put text in them it doesn't doesn't matter because it's going to be overridden here in a second. And it doesn't have to be like perfect, but I'll, I'll show you how this works. Store, just so you know what the fields are. And if you do this, you have to make sure that you leave enough room uh, for the longer words. And so from here, you can place your different fields, your different text fields, and line those up. And for city and state, since they are different varying lengths, what I'm going to do is with this little trick I'm going to write a line city the city text just so that 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 works fine but with the name you have you know you have space here you want to leave enough space and I'll show you all that here in a second. And so you have your initial design, you have your fields. So what you're going to want to do is go to Window, Utilities, Data Merge. It used to be in the main section here, but they placed it under Utilities. So we're going to go to Utilities, Data Merge. And so here is where you're going to click this little flyout menu, select your data source, you're going to go and check that names.txt uh, file and click open. And so then your fields are going to appear right here. And so you're going to highlight the text, just double click on it to highlight the whole text. And click that and that those little arrows mean that that's a field the highlight store and click that and I'm gonna finish that out for the rest of them match all the fields up that's why you name those initial columns so it's easier to match all that up when you're ready you can either uh, click the flout menu and export directly to PDF if you know if you just are a hundred percent certain ahead of time that there's not going to be any kind of over um, overlapping text but if you're not sure it's best to click this little icon here create merge document and so I'm going to go ahead and check preview And so what we're going to do here is we have multiple records. And so what we're going to do is you have you want all the records and it says records per document page. We're going to switch to multiple records and check preview because you want to see how this is going to lay out on the page. And it goes to the, the top left corner. But, you know, you've got this little section here. You've got two things that you need to remember. One is that if you don't have a lot, like if you're doing like 50 badges or something like that, and you have them like four to a page, you can check for um, your text being not fitting in the boxes. You can check for that manually by clicking through each page but if you have like 2,000 name badges you wouldn't want to do that because that's just, that's just a lot of clicking. InDesign will generate a report for you it's uh, letting you know that there's overset text 
and that means that, like, let's say this was James, and then it was, like, some big long name. If this was cut off at the end, you would know that you need to shrink this text down to make it fit in the area, or you need to alter it. And so that's why you'd want to create an InDesign document instead of a PDF so that you can edit the overset text. But if you know there's not going to be any overset text, they're all short names and you're just 100% sure, you can just automatically click to export the PDF. So then this top tab right here in the middle is where you can control the layout. So let's say that you want uh, there to be space in between these. You can set space from the top of the document. And this is all linked. So this makes it go down and in. And then you can do space between the columns. And see what happened was I put too much space and it moved it over to the next page. You can do it between the columns side by side and horizontally and space vertically as well between the rows. And so let's say that let's say that this was laid up just how we want and that's it. That's you know pretty easy and then once you're done you click OK and it's it, see it says no overset text was generated when merging records click OK and so this gives you it creates a new tab with the document with all everything laid laid up for you makes it really easy and so there's the name there's the store there's the city there's the state all in just a matter of a few minutes it was a little bit slower because I was making sure I slowed down to show you how to do it but you know I've laid up you know, 2,000 name badges for an event and a matter of five minutes or less just because I had the graphics all set up and stored in a folder and I had the, the names all you know I had everything all set up and so it just makes it really easy and in a matter of minutes you can save yourself hours of having to lay this out piece by piece and drag and click and type in the name and that's just too much work have it all in an Excel spreadsheet, import it in. InDesign will replicate all the designs and put the text where it goes. That's uh, one of my most productive techniques. Uh, I have a feeling this, you guys will find this useful. But that's all for today. I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon.